Hi, I'm Liz Harrison. I'm a board certified clinical nutritionist. I've been in private practice for over 30 years. I'm here today to talk with one of the students at a local high school regarding the field of nutrition, and he has some questions. Ben? Hi, I'm Ben Jeromely. I'm a 17-year-old junior at Brattleboro Union High School. So Liz, what exactly is good nutrition? Well, good nutrition is a matter of using real food um, to nourish your body. Uh, one of the problems these days is we have a lot of uh, packaged food that uh, doesn't have the nutrients in it. So good nutrition is eating a variety of foods and uh, not eating the same things all the time and and uh, making sure that your body gets a variety of nutrients so that it can be healthy. Okay. Yeah. What do you consider good exercise? Good exercise is a matter of moving the body. Uh, movement can come in, I wear a pedometer and I try to do 10,000 steps a day. Uh, sometimes I have to get on my treadmill at night in order to get it up there. Um, we need aerobic exercise which um, uses a lot of oxygen so any kind of athletics uh, is good exercise, but a standard of the industry for uh, good health to keep your whole immune system straight and uh, to give you energy and to sleep well um, and to detoxify would be, you know, four hours a week of, um, of aerobic exercise. Aside from that, not everybody can get that. If uh, people will work their way up to uh, 10,000 steps. I started when I uh, this with about 2,000. I started wearing a pedometer and I learned to park in the back of the parking lot and then walk in or go up the stairs instead of taking the elevator, uh, park in the, uh, walk around the grocery store an extra couple of times, go the long way around here. And I found that my steps went up and it slowly helps the mitochondria and the cells to burn the stored fat. It detoxifies you, it um, helps you sleep better, helps you digest your food better, uh, actually raises the endorphins in the brain so it fights depression. And, uh, and cleanses. So it's really important to get the movement even though you don't do as much aerobics. Okay. Yeah. Well, walking around that much, you must, you must get thirsty. What's the big deal about water? Water is an elixir of life. It is very important to be hydrated. Uh, many times people will take an aspirin when they start getting a headache, whereas they really it's a symptom of uh, uh, dehydration. And so if they'll have some water, uh, that might alleviate it. Uh, water helps the body to cleanse, it helps the liver to cleanse. Uh, we need a, a certain amount of water in all of our tissues in order to function and, and move. Um, water is very important for the digestion, um, for uh, every part of the immune system. So without water, we will die. And uh, the uh, standard of the industry to measure how much water do you need to take uh, without exercise uh, if you'll take your weight, like if you weigh 150 pounds, well then you probably need 75 ounces of water. However, if you're going out to um, baseball practice or football practice, you probably need more because you're going to uh, perspire it off mm. and always uh, stay hydrated. I encourage people to drink uh, water all day long, um, eight glasses a day uh, is a, a good base. Uh, too much water can be as bad as too much anything, so um, you know we don't want to go too much over our 50% of our body weight, um, unless it's because of a uh, athletic reason. Um, so, but water is very important, and without water, uh, we don't have a healthy body. Okay. Yeah. What's the big deal about chewing your food? Why is it so important? Chewing your food. A lot of people, when they first uh, sit down to a meal, they're really hungry, and they just chomp, chomp, and swallow, and then they wonder why uh, they have uh, digestive problems. So chewing the food in the, the mouth has the saliva and that's the beginning of the breakdown of the food. So by chewing it, you get the digestive um, parts, um, get the digestion uh, started. And then when the, part, the, the food gets to the stomach, it's broken down sufficiently so that the pancreatic enzymes and the uh, hydrochloric acid can break it down to the correct molecular weight. And what happens then is the nourishment from that food can be absorbed through the intestinal lining and go into the bloodstream and go to the organs that need the nourishment from that food. If you do not chew your food properly and it's too large a molecular weight when it gets to the stomach, then the, and the stomach gets, doesn't have enough time and enough pancreatic enzymes and hydrochloric acid to break it down, the size of the particles of food are too large. They will tear through the uh, intestinal lining. And that's where you got, get what you call leaky gut syndrome. The body 
then sees those particles of food uh, as an enemy and will go after detoxifying the body and taking the liver to be um, excreted. So you're not going to get the nourishment from the food and then you can end up with food sensitivities and food allergies and all sorts of symptoms. So chewing is one of the first steps of good health. But the, when you pay for your food, if you're going to buy food, you want to chew it thoroughly so that you're getting your money's worth, your body's getting the nourishment from it, and your body has no other way to um, start the process besides chewing. It's too, it's too hard on the stomach. A lot of stomach ailments come from not chewing your food. Okay. Obviously, having a healthy diet is important mm -hmm. uh, to staying healthy. Um, I've also heard about rotating your diet. Mm -hmm. How do you effectively rotate your diet? Okay. The rule of thumb for rotating your diet is to not eat the same food within four days. So if you have oatmeal for breakfast on Monday, don't have it again until uh, Thursday or Friday. You have a, you know, a corn-based cereal the next day or some eggs the following day or some rye bread with nut butter on it or whatever you want to have for breakfast. But rotating your diet does two things. One, it adds a larger variety of vitamins and minerals into your diet because you're getting different foods that have different amounts of these things in mm -hmm. them. Second of all, it keeps the digestive system healthy. When you go to the gym, and you start an exercise program and you're pumping a weight and it's really hard the first time, well, after you've been there five or six times, well, you, you need to increase the weight in order to keep it hard because your body gets used to it, your muscles get stronger. Well, if you don't exercise the digestive system in the same manner by requiring different foods of it all the time, it gets so used to that food, it doesn't break it down as much or as thoroughly. Mm -hmm. So it keeps your digestive, digestive system healthy as well as a, uh, getting a whole lot greater variety of nutrients into your bloodstream. Okay. Yeah. Do the chemicals in the food we eat hurt us? The chemicals do hurt us. Um, food from nature does not have a lot of chemicals in it. Um, it's got normal vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fiber. Uh, it's got natural chemicals in it, let me put it that way. Um, we use chemicals to preserve food, to make it grow larger, to have it uh, have different color, to make it marketable. Mm -hmm. But those chemicals uh, are causing a lot of problems in our body chemistry. As a matter of fact, on the commercial, uh, commercial developed food farms, uh, more than 50% of the nourishment is not in the soil anymore. Uh, they don't rotate the, uh, the, the farms, as, um, the, the fields as much to uh, let them rest and be uh, refertilized. Uh, the nourishment's gone. So when you go into the average um, non-organic food supply in the markets, you're probably getting less than 50% of what our grandparents had on the farms that they had, where they had the cow manure and the fertilizer and the rotation of the, the crops and things of that sort. So we're getting commercial food that is reduced in value, and they um, add uh, synthetic chemicals uh, and pesticide chemicals, and the amount of chemicals are causing a great deal of uh, medical problems in our society today. So I really do encourage people uh, to buy organic foods. You know, people will say they're more expensive. Actually, if you chew them thoroughly, you eat less. Uh, that reduces the uh, obesity issue in our society, and you're more nourished, and you have better energy, and you have fewer medical bills.